No, we have another live interview. The mayor of Surfside talking to us now. Yeah, let's check in with 7's Elita Bezio. Elita? Uh, um, I'm not sure if you guys can. Okay, we are live. All right, well, we have uh, the mayor of Surfside here. Uh, Charles Burkett uh, has, just, uh, has just joined us. Uh, can you tell us um, the latest numbers and what you know this morning? Well, what I know is that I walked the site this morning. And uh, fortunately, the, the rain has stopped. I know there was rain overnight, and they said that that was, uh, it was heavy rain at some point. But the work continues. We've got waves of search and rescue teams. We've got teams now from Israel and Mexico. We've had calls from South Africa. And like I've always said, I mean, always said in the past three days that we don't have a resource problem. We have a luck problem. We just got to get lucky and hope the sun keeps shining and hope that uh, that fire stays out because as of now, yeah, it was out, so that's great. That means they can get over the entire mound of debris. And I know they're banging away, trying to open up. I saw them, they were cutting concrete this morning. They are lifting, moving. We've got some gigantic equipment out there overnight too. Overnight, we brought in a crane that's just, it's, it's humongous. And so again, we don't have a resource problem. We don't have a luck problem and we just have to get lucky and we have to start, you know, being able to pull our residents out of that debris safely and reunite them with a family who's really uh, in, a, in a desperate situation trying to understand what's going on. It's, it's a very difficult, very difficult time for, for so many out there. Um, explain to us um, these, these trenches that we're seeing, that these families are seeing on TV. What are those and, and what are they doing there? Well, not being an excavation expert, I, I can tell you what I've seen and what I've heard. Um, you know, this is like brain surgery, but with respect to uh, search and rescue, saving lives in earthquakes and piles of debris like this. So what's going on, I think, is, you know, they're going down to one area in the middle, and it looks like they've got a big valley sort of in the middle, and maybe that means they can go into the sides now and hit it from the top. So the top, the sides, the bottom, every direction imaginable. The dogs are there, I saw the dogs. And again, I saw the waves, waves of search and rescue guys just waiting to get on there. Those guys are itching to get in there and get to work, so. And uh, we did hear that there were possibly federal investigators on site, is this, is this correct? I wouldn't be surprised. Um, I, I've heard that, uh, that everybody's taking a look at this because you know, buildings don't fall down in America. It just doesn't happen. Something was very, very wrong here, and we've got to figure out what that was. But, you know, that's not my focus. I don't think that's the focus of anyone who's out here right now. The focus is is to pull these residents out alive and reunite them with the families. That's all we're going to do, and we're going to keep doing it for a very, very long time. And, um, you know, some of the, the people who have um, lost their lives were, were identified. We learned who they were um, yesterday, two of them uh, family members of our chief meteorologist, uh, Phil Farrow, and obviously um, other families whose names, you know, we don't necessarily know also affected. Uh, a message to these families who, who have lost their loved ones. It's crushing. It's crushing. It's, it's heartbreaking. It, it, you know, is it an act of God? I, we don't know. We just don't know. But I mean, there was, there obviously was something very wrong with that building, and it wasn't an act of God. I take that back. It was not an act of God. Something was very wrong with this building. But it's, it's a disaster. It's a disaster for Florida. It's a disaster for the families. It's a disaster all the way around. And I think you know, you talk about God, and and we've talked about this a few times. Um, you know, it's it's Sunday today. And for the families who are out there watching, um, I think it's fair to say that we all we all would like a miracle today, some a, a physical miracle from God, to give us continued hope. What is your message to the families? My message is yes, I'm expecting a miracle, and I know that the families. I understand that uh, the mayor has approved uh, a visit by the families to the site. Uh, I'm excited about that because that was something that I was hopeful would happen. They need to be close to their family, and they need to see what's going on for themselves. And uh, kudos to Mayor Kava, uh, our U.S. Senators, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, and our Florida Governor for making that happen. We've got a great team.